Hey everybody, welcome to my quick and dirty guide to installing the Ray Trace mod for Half-Life 1. So, what do you need to do? Well, first of all, you're going to need a copy of Half-Life on Steam, so make sure that's up and running. And then you've got to come to this GitHub page, and I'll give you the address in the description down below, and grab the following files. So, really, really easy. Just scroll down here. Here it is. Just click on that, download it. Then, what you want to do, if you want to go the optional DLSS route, DLSS, oh Jesus, that is a tongue twister. If you want to go this route, just grab a copy of this zipped file and this DLL as well. So make sure you've got all three on your PC. Right, let's get rid of this page. And here's where I copied all of those files, those three files, okay? Right, so now what we need to do is come over to Half-Life. As you can see, this is Steam. Click on this little cog here. Go to Manage, Browse Local Files. And we get the Half-Life folder here. So now I'm going to go over to HL1RT Combined. I'm going to open this up using WinRAR. So I'll double click on that. Grab the contents here. Just drag it over. So that's going to extract it into this folder. I've actually done this already, but I'm just going to copy over the files just to show you exactly what needs doing. You see, if you get asked to replace any files in the destination, just say yes. And once it's completed, we can actually just oh, close this, dig into the RT bin, and we can actually launch the game straight away. And this is where you come to graphics and start messing around with the settings. Sometimes you'll see it set to, I don't know, 3200 or something. I can't remember exactly, but just set it to the correct window size. As you can see, you can't use NVIDIA's DLS here because it's off, so let's sort that out right now. So we'll do done, and we'll quit. Okay, because what you need to do next, staying in this RT bin folder, we'll come over to the Raytress GL bundle. Same as before, dig down into bin. Here, we just want this one file here, Raytrace GL1 DLL. We'll just copy that over. Place file and destination. See, I've done that before. That's done. And again, the same with this NVN GX DLS DLL. Just copy that over. And we can now relaunch the game. Don't forget, if you just want to create a shortcut because you don't want to keep drilling down as far as this to launch it, just do a right click here. Do a little search around here for create shortcut. Boom, there it is. And you can now drag this onto your desktop so you can launch the mod from there. But anyway, double click, go back to graphics, NVIDIA DLSS, we can now select the level that we want, quality, balanced, performance, ultra performance, let's try that out, we did done, and let's go to campaign, load, that's one of my saves, let's load that up. Right, so here's my save. Not all that impressive looking, granted, but when you toggle with the X key, whoa, very, very spooky. And that's the kind of effect you get with this mod. Be careful with it, because in some sections you will burn your eyes out, but give it a go. That's all there is to it. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comment section down below.